Number six, this is going to help some of you. Some of you are going to look a little tense. They go, no, Lord, career missionary, they just came for a summer. <laughs> You know, some people get the idea that um, missionary work is, is sort of a purgatory. They've, they've been really living for self, and they've been making a real mess of their life, and, and they make a little rededication in a meeting, and they feel now, somehow, i got to pay for what I've done. I need to find a little bit of a, an evangelical purgatory and, and, and pay and make up for all my fooling around. And so they look through the missionary lists, and they discover one that seems to be uh, the toughest and uh, the worst, and they enroll. <laughs> Operation mobilization. I want to tell you, I believe most of you, forgive me, are going to enjoy this summer. I believe most of you are going to find this a mega fulfilling experience. Sure, there'll be the hard parts. I remember this one American girl, she got to Europe. I mean, this girl, she had hair, looked like it came right out of a magazine. And she had taken care of her hair. You know, she had all these various, various glues and, and different things for her hair. And, and she discovered where she was in some campsite, there was no hot water. She had never washed her hair in her lifetime. I don't know, she was probably superstitious, thought it was all going to fall out or something. And she was in a crisis because she had to wash her hair with cold water. Oh, but later on she thought of the joy of suffering for Christ. <laughs> there may be some of these hard experiences, but I believe there's going to be many wonderful experiences and God has given this life for us, this life in Christ for us to enjoy. We are not called to some kind of asceticism. We're not going to set you up on a flagpole in the middle of Italy to throw tracks at passers-by during the summer. <laughs> We don't forbid you to take a picture of the Eiffel Tower as you walk by. You know, like in the old days, thou shalt not look at scenery, you know. <laughs> no cameras. We never actually had a no camera policy. We had a policy that each team would have an official camera just to keep the numbers down. But it just didn't work. Now you can bring your camera and probably get it stolen. Forgive me for my negativeness. <laughs> But here's the thing that's going to relax some of you that are a little tense. Number six, God can easily stop us. God can easily stop us. Providence, maybe in the area of health, maybe in the area of family. Some people won't allow us to go into their church and give a message like this. They're afraid all their young people are going to you know, jump up and run off to the mission field. They don't know what to do. It'll decrease the numbers in the church. What an embarrassment. <laughs> Plus, where's the money going to come from? Do you, do you know of any really big stampede to the mission field? It, I mean, have you, is this a big thing going on in the States since I was last here? <laughs> Whole churches rushing off? <laughs> Now, there are some churches that are sending quite a few people on, on, on summer campaigns, and praise the Lord for some of them. But I'm talking now about longer-term biblical apostolic missionary work. God can easily stop us. And so, maybe more of you, maybe more of you should just begin to move. Maybe more of you should just say, Lord, you've spoken to me this week. I'm going to start to move toward the ends of the earth where, they, where they've not heard, where the church doesn't exist. Or I'm going to get in the stream of the people who are doing that so that everything I do counts toward that. And you'll find that God can easily stop you. It's hard to guide something that isn't moving. We learned that with the ship. Incredibly difficult to steer it without moving it forward. Have you ever seen a ship without moving forward just turn around? I tell you, get a picture. <laughs> and until some of you start moving a little more, in many ways, until you, until you start moving more, it's going to be difficult for the Holy Spirit or even your leaders to help direct you. 
Will you take some steps of faith? Will you listen more carefully to see if the man of Galilee is saying to you, even tonight, follow me and I will make you a fisher of men.